My name is Nova and I'm a sneaker reseller. Join me in my journey where I turn hype sneakers into riches. So far, we have a few more drops to go. I got one! I got another one. Make that four pairs. Oh, I got it. All right, the second that a porter package arrived, I'm gonna keep the ribbon on while I unbox. Oh, I didn't see the extra laces. Wait a minute, why are the laces just like this? It's like somebody tried it on, just like tossed it in the bag. If you wanna see a more detailed look into this shoe, go check out the last episode. I speak more about this shoe there. The rest of the Sakai's came in the mail today. We already have two over there, those two orange boxes, and we're about to unbox five more. <laughs> These are nice. <sighs> keep the tongue. I have my, my finger in between the two tongues, and that's how the deep it goes. Unbelievably beautiful. Some people don't like these Sakai's because it just looks so odd, but I think this is amazing. You know, one thing I did notice that does look a little bit awkward is I'm not sure if you could see the bottom part, like around this area. This looks really, I don't know, it looks badly done. I don't know why it looks like they just took the laces and tossed them in the box. Um, I might have to fix this one. And here is the waffle in the other colorway. Oh, and the, the silver is glittery. The silver swoosh has like some glitters on it. Same with the back. Very nice. about to make a sale. CJ said he wanted my size eight and a half Jordan 7 Pata. We'll see you there. Okay, so Kit did something very weird today. They dropped about 15 minutes early and they only dropped less than 60 pairs more or less. So that really caught me off guard and I wasn't able to get any static reflectives. I still don't have any of those yet. In other news, in about four minutes, Supreme is about to drop a drum set. I feel like my information is just permanently banned on Supreme. I haven't copped from Supreme in a long time. I honestly don't have high expectations for this release. At this point, I'm just going for it just because. So yeah, wish me luck. Uh. Okay. Okay, well, obviously I didn't even have a chance. Yeah.
submitted order, no response. Check your email and card to see if you got charged. Oh, dude, I got charged. I got one. I got another charge? Uh-oh, that's not good. I got two. I got two from East Bay. Sometimes foot sites cancel if you get multiples. Oh, I got it in my cart in Champs. Oh, let me check out. Let me check out. Okay. I'm gonna check out with PayPal. Okay, here we go. Place order. Oh, please, please, please go through. Oh my goodness, this is literally the last step. Literally the last step. Got it. Let's go. I got a third one. Bypass. Yeah, I might just keep saying due to unexpected technical problems. Yeah. Just keep trying, I guess. Yeah. Hey, man. To 500 to 7500 and still getting hit. My shirts are even in the queue. I have a request timeout. But I'm in the queue on Kodai, but that's it. All my other bots are kind of like that. Oh, I got one, finally. Son of a bitch. Nice. What? Through manual, Any? I think. Arrow preparing oh, to Oh, shit. No wonder I'm not adding shit. I think they're just popping me up to add it to my own card. Fatal proxy is dead, so what is going on? Oh, oh, shit! Oh shit, I got one on TKS. Nice. I nice. got through the queue. In browser oh, mode? What the fuck? Nice. It's the Vanta. <laughs> oh, oh, oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, how did you, how did you get that? Charging. Oh, got another one. Fuck it. Yeah. yeah, there you go, Nova. I can do. If I do personal hotspot for my computer, will that? Don't steal my info. You sent too many requests. Oh yes, I got it. proxies were banned. I didn't know what the cause for it was, but it looked like all of my proxies were banned, so I just started doing manual. 
I really couldn't figure out how to get my proxies to be unbanned and it was really frustrating because after two to three hours of really trying to figure out what the cause was, apparently one of my servers couldn't access the internet. Now, originally that didn't make sense in my head because I'm connected to the server. If the server didn't have access to the internet, then I technically would not be able to connect to the server. I didn't change anything. I was just running it as I normally would and all of a sudden my proxies aren't working. I found out a little too late that it was an issue with the server and not the proxies. When I then switched over those resources into the new server, I started getting checkouts but it was a little bit too late and I just ended up checking out a bunch of sizes that weren't really good. I could have gotten so many more checkouts on actual good sizes if I was able to spot the problem earlier. I was pretty disappointed in myself that I wasn't able to diagnose the issue right away because then I would have gotten so much more. Alright, so I asked 10x server what the issue could have possibly been and he said, it's an issue that happens with Node.js bots like PD and NSB when left running or open for a long time. Pretty much the bot crashes localhost causing issues with TCP, outgoing connections. It's been brought up with the devs. We're not sure what they've done or are planning to do. First of all, I'd like to say that I didn't get any confirmation from neither Nike Shoebot or Project Destroyer on whether or not this bug actually exists. But either way, if this is true, preventing this should be very easy. Before an important release, simply restart your bot just in case this happens to you as well and you should be just fine. I'll be honest, I miss your company. Let's just hope I get blessed and they're cute in 10 seconds. Whoa, just said check out the Discord. They dropped, they dropped. Oh shoot, sold out, dude. A whole bunch of people are going to my Discord with the new Balco mode. I look to the stars to see the lights. My love grows cold, it's not alive. I can't do it. Drop it, drop. On the union. I need some time to find some more. Yeah, drop. I'm on the union. Checking order, checking order. Come on, come on, come on. Why am I getting out of the car? Oh shit, nice. Oh, I had the mass link change it. Oh, it picked up for me now. Send check out the Discord. Oh my god, dude. Let's fucking get this money, bro. No, I got sold out. Alright, I wasn't initially going to talk about these, but I got these off Nike sneakers and they were sitting for a long time. Maybe like 10 to 15 minutes, I don't remember exactly. And these were big bricks. These look like the regular Raptor 4s, but it actually has Drake's signature on the tongue and the Jumpman is purple. On the original, that signature isn't there and that Jumpman is black. I was about to return them or even cancel them because the price was looking really bad on these. And I held on to it for less than two weeks and the market price for these is almost $400. So that's a really, really lovely surprise for me because I honestly expected to just return these and I'm going to be getting potentially an extra $200 in profit off of these and it didn't take me any effort to get these at all. Like I said, these were literally just sitting so I had a lot of time to buy these. Most likely I'm either going to sell them today or tomorrow, I'm not 100% sure. In other news, the first shipment of Yeezys came in, so we're going to unbox those. Size five and a half. Here it is in all of its glory.
in a few days. Hopefully the rest of these will come in the mail and next week we will have even more Yeezys coming out. I think the ones coming up are going to be even more limited than these. So hopefully we can get a bunch of those. And if you need help acquiring these Yeezys, I'd pay close attention to the following message from our sponsor. Notify is one of the Discord group groups that I'm in. And in my personal opinion, it is one of the best. Not only is it beginner friendly, but their release information and support team caters to the USA, Canada, UK, and European regions. Notify is restocking a limited number of membership slots on June 19th at 5 p.m. EST, just in time for this upcoming Yeezy release. They will tweet the purchase link at the date and time of restock. I do have to warn you that these membership slots do sell out very fast, so if you want to secure yourself a spot, you need to be ready and quick with your hands as soon as they drop. If you want more information about the group, check out their website notify.vip. It will also be linked in the description. And I'll see you in the next episode.